Someday we'll get paid for this. And now for Piggy of the Week. So many piggies, my friends, and so little time. The dilemma this week is whom to choose. Shall I pick that greedy asshole William J. Marino from Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield who paid himself $8.7 million by denying coverage to sick people and laying off 170 workers and freezing wages for the rest? The sick joke is that the company is a non profit. Or should we choose NBC 10 and Fox 29? To save money for the past year, they've been pooling camera work for news assignments, which, as a result, homogenizes the news and puts talented camera people out of work. They are now going to expand with CBS 3 to pool their helicopter shots, this laying off talented pilots and ensuring every news channel will be broadcasting the exact same news, which goes to prove the only real news in Philadelphia is right here at Scrapple News. Hand slaps all around. But I think that the big piggy, that one that gives me the most nipple buzz this week, is the small local glass factory with foreign ownership who made cadmium-laced drinking glasses for a small mom-and-pop restaurant chain promoting a piece of shit movie. What our compromised news sources didn't tell you is how poisonous cadmium is. It can liquefy your kidneys and turn your bones into mush faster than when you go number two, when you order a number two with a Coke. Now, I can't blame Mickey D's for this one. They make deliciously disgusting food that we bovinian Americans love. I just coined a phrase, bovinian Americans, those of us who love cow. The blame lies squarely on that awful movie and the Millville, New Jersey glass factory that made those deadly drinking glasses of death. Congratulations to Arc International Glass of France. You are our first international piggy of the week. I'm E.P. Ticker, and I like big butts, and I cannot lie.